So let's see first what are sitecore domains. A sitecore domain is a collection of security accounts that is users and roles that you can administer as a unit with the common rules and procedures. A domain is used to collect security accounts that have a same some uh, logical relationship. So basically, sitecore domain is a collection of the users and the uh, roles. Okay, users and roles are basically your security accounts. Okay, so it's a collection of those users. So it is a it, it, you can you can apply some rules and uh, procedure on that complete domain which will be uh, inherited with the, the users and roles which are associated with that domain. Okay, so let's see what are the different domains uh, we have in the uh, default domain we have in the sitecore. First is the external. So website security domain that contains the user account that corresponds to the visitors to the website and this domain holds the website visitor roles that manage read access of the content. So external extranet is the domain which is which is associated with your customer or your website users. Okay. So by default those website users should are associated with the extranet domain and that domain holds the website user roles that manages read access okay so uh, that extra domain uh, extra net domain so roles which are associated with uh, with that will will have the uh, read access of the content the next domain is the sitecore domain okay so internal security domain that contains the sitecore clients and the sitecore client roles that correspond to the internal visitor to the cms so now you must have understood that Sitecore has a two kind of a users. One is a website user and another is your internal users or a CMS user. So uh, for the visitor users, you, you, you will have an extra rate domain. For the internal users, who the users who log in into the Sitecore CMS will have the Sitecore domain. Okay, so those are users which are which will need the access to the Sitecore client and the corresponding roles will go into the Sitecore domain. Now, extranet domain is the default domain which we uh, we have in the sitecore for the visitors. But ideally, we should create the separate uh, domain of as per your website. So you have a uh, uh, one instance and three uh, different website lies on that uh, instance. Then you should create three application domains. Okay, like extranet we are having. So we if you having three different website, you should create a three application domains. Then third uh, is the default domain and this is a virtual domain that only exists in memory. It doesn't exist physically, it is existing virtually in the memory. Sitecore is set up with extranet as a default domain. So at the time of setup, extranet domain is used and the most user accounts will extranet slash anonymous when they visit the website. So these are the three default domain, extranet, sitecore, default. To manage this uh, uh, domains, uh, we, we have a tool called domain manager tool. Domain manager tool can be used to add update domain, add an update domain. Domain manager tool can be accessed from the sitecore desktop.